Tanya, and welcome back to the channel! Today I am back with another speed build, and we are doing a Spanish-inspired home, which is something I have been wanting to do for years, and every single time I try and do it, I don't like how it comes out and I scrap it, but today I persevered, we made it, and it's generally trying to go for that vibe, but it is The Sims, and I just kind of used items that I thought looked nice together, so... Not everything in here might be that style, but I tried to make it look pretty cohesive and I had a lot of fun with it using some items I don't typically use and building in a style that I don't typically do. So I hope you guys enjoy this build. It ends up being a five bedroom, two bathroom house and it also has a study and a really cutesy backyard that has like a nice little fire pit as well as like lots of fairy lights and it's just really cute. So I had a lot of fun with it. And anyway, that's what we're doing today, and uh, I built this a couple of nights ago. I actually came home from work, and I was like, I really want to build, and I came home, and I started three different builds. The first two I completely scrapped. I was just like, I don't like these. These look awful, and now we're on this one, so I liked this one. So it's um the one that I kept. I don't know if I'll go back to the other two. One of them was also a Spanish-inspired home, but the first one was like a modern build, but, I don't know why I'm breathing so heavily. <laughs> um, anyway, but I just, I didn't like how it came out. I've been trying to do modern homes a lot lately, as I've told you guys, because I know it was something that was suggested and I just haven't, haven't gotten to it yet. So, I'm trying. It'll eventually happen. But at least this is a different style than I typically do, so that's exciting. But this is pretty much the what the outside of the house ends up looking like. It's very simple. You know, it's got like a yellowish white outside. I changed the color slightly. But I wanted to use some of the new items we got in the Caribbean patch this week as well. I used a lot of stuff from Base Game and a lot of stuff from Jungle Adventure. Because I thought all of those colors went together really nice. So it, it this uses a lot of different packs in it. But I think it has a lot of Base Game and jungle adventure because all that stuff from that patch is base game as well so I had fun with it it's different it's not a suburban house so I really like that and the fact that I was able to fit five bedrooms on this lot and it's a 30 by 20 I'm impressed with that there's a guest bedroom on the first floor and then there's four bedrooms upstairs so yay lots of places to sleep <laughs> uh, but we're adding some plants that came with jungle adventure and I also add trash cans and the uh, mailbox over here Thought that was a nice little place. And we use a lot of red mulch on this ground, which I thought looked really nice. It's not a dirt I usually use. Although, growing up in our garden, we had red mulch. So, <laughs> it's very realistic to me. So, that's what we went ahead and did here. I made sure to have, like, lots of spacious garden areas. I thought it would look really, really pretty. And, of course, palm trees and just more like, um, not jungle, desert e plants because we're in Oasis Springs and I never built an Oasis Springs, but it's actually really gorgeous here and I want to build more things here. So hopefully in the future we will be building more in Oasis Springs. But yeah, this is what the outside looks like. We're getting a couple more rocks and stuff in and I think we skip back and forth a couple times in this build between inside and outside on what I feel like working on at the moment. But uh, we should be going inside fairly soon. We're just going to work on the back garden area, which I think looks really cute. And we used a lot of ivy around the house, which I don't know. I just feel like it just gives houses so much more dimension and it looks kind of lived in and cute. And later on, I don't know if I put it on camera or not, but I raised up some of the lights from toddler stuff to be between those two trees. So there's like a string of lights hanging above that bench, which I thought was super duper cute. I really like how the outside of this house came out. I, of course, <laughs> lately have been having a little bit of trouble with liking my builds and scrapping them a lot, as I mentioned earlier. So I was happy with how this one came out, and I'm, I was glad that I was happy that I didn't, like, feel the need to change it 8,000 times. I did kind of stop building it and then come back to it, because I was like, I don't know about it. It's, like, better than the couple other things I had started. I kind of liked it, but I wasn't, like, 100% sold. I was like, you've gotten really far. I kind of like the floor plan. Like, let's just put it down for right now, get a good night's rest, and come back to it. And, oh my gosh, I think it's super cute. It's really simple, though. Like, the shape of it's very simple, but a lot of the, like, Spanish-inspired houses that I've looked at in the past, like, most of them have very simple shapes, and it's just kind of hard to make it look interesting with a simple shape in The Sims. So I think that's been my problem. 
because I've actually tried to do Spanish styled homes in the past and I always end up scrapping them. <laughs> like I have a couple of them from like six, seven months ago that I would start and never finish. And then I guess like lately I had a little bit more inspiration because of the Caribbean update and a lot of people making Spanish inspired homes and they just look so nice in Oasis Springs and I miss Oasis Springs. So decided to give it another go and I think it worked out this time. It's not like a super extravagant, crazy house. It's just a nice family home, which is why I picked the name La Casa Familia, which is like the family home essentially in Spanish. And um, yeah, I just had fun with it. I love family homes. I want to do more of them, even though I have a million other things I want to build too. But this was fun and a little bit different. So yeah, this is the kitchen here. We're using a lot of jungle adventure because I absolutely love those cabinets and countertops. At some point in time, our ca our kitchen sink disappears. I know I put one there, but it disappears. And then I had to go back and re-add it like at the end because I had saved it to my library so I could easily upload it to the gallery the day this goes up and it just disappeared. So <laughs> I had to re-save it and um, that's that. And we're just adding a lot of this like yellowish wallpaper throughout most of the house. Some of the rooms have a different wallpaper, but I try and make it pretty consistent throughout the house, so it's um, it's like the same thing. It looks cohesive. Everything was made the same way. I feel like I see that a lot. So we did that. We also used this round table from Jungle Adventure, which I absolutely adore, and I just thought it looked really nice and cozy in here. We also use it upstairs on one of the balconies. Although there's like no food or anything up there, I just thought it looked nice. And we tried raising some different plants up here, and we ended up raising the one that we got from the new update. Which I thought looked really cute. I love this new plant. It's probably one of my favorites. I feel like it works really well for this style, but it also works really well in any house or as a modern uh, plant. It comes with a plain white vase or a pot at the bottom, and I think it looks super cute. I really like it, so I'm excited to use that in some modern builds since I really want to do a modern build. Uh, hopefully I will use that. We also added like a little hallway that leads you into an office and the guest bedroom, or it could be anyone's bedroom really. I kind of furnished it very simply as like a guest bedroom on the main floor. And then there's an office next to it. So there's like a little hallway to get to those two rooms. And the bathroom is right over there as well for the main floor bathroom. But this is the finishing up of the kitchen. We do change the tiles behind everything a little bit later. Which is odd because like <laughs> I don't know why I changed them because I changed them to this tile on purpose and then when I came back to it today I think they weren't that anymore like it didn't save those tiles for some reason because it was just this plain yellow one so I, I am not sure but I changed them to a different tile so <laughs> there is a different tile or maybe I watched maybe I did change them I guess we're gonna find out by watching back this footage but um when I logged into the game today, like, <laughs> I was just like, oh, why are they just plain yellow walls in the kitchen? I feel like they should be tiled, so I had to go ahead and fix that. But anyway, we used these new sliding doors that we got with the update, which are really, really cool. I feel like that style of them looks kind of nice here. Like I said, it's kind of a mixture of styles because I just kind of was trying the vague idea of the outside of the house is like a Spanish inspired home that would fit in really well in Oasis Springs, but in general I just picked items that I thought looked nice together, so it might not be strict Spanish insp inspired or Spanish house or whatever. It's just inspired by it. Uh, so <laughs> that's what we did. And then I actually kept the footage in for the bathrooms this time. They're both very similar. They just have the um, Jungle Adventure counters. They keep very simple wallpaper for like the rest of the house, and I added some tile behind this shower in this bathroom. So yeah, I think they're kind of cute though. I really like the color scheme. I love these tiles on the floor. They're some of my favorite tiles in the game. I just don't get the chance to use them that often. Also have this plant in here again from the update because it's so pretty. Or no, I didn't. I got rid of it. But I used it somewhere else. I think I used it in one of the, like in a pink bedroom upstairs. Because we have the master bedroom, which I think is like brown and blue. We have a toddler's room, which I think is like green and orange. Then we have two teen rooms. One is pink and white and the other one is red. Red and something. <laughs> it's red and something. Uh, but I finally made like a more teenage boys room because I feel like I always make kid boys. So I, I was like, there's going to be a teen boys room in this house. So there's two teenagers and a toddler. So that's 
that's the family dynamic I imagined in this home. This is the really small office, which I thought was nice. Maybe one of the parents works from home sometimes. Or just, like, it's nice to have an office in your house. I feel like a lot of people have them. I don't yet, but I will soon. Uh, and I just, I think it's a nice thing to have. And then this is the spare bedroom. It's very, very simple. Just added some uh, stuff that matches the floor and the walls as well. Like, it's just simple, simple furniture. I did a bookcase as well, and I think we're adding some curtains in here. And that's it. Ta-da! Spare bedroom done. I think it's got everything you need for somebody to stay over temporarily company. I also never use these really tall windows, so I don't get to use those curvy curtains ever. So it's kind of exciting um, <laughs> that I got to use those. And we changed the colors in here a couple of times. And I think we end up using some base game couches. Yeah, these ones right here, which I quite like. And it was nice to use this chimney and, of course, this new table from the update. It is so pretty. I love it so much. And I'm probably going to use it in, like, every build I do forever now because it is so pretty. I, like, I was so blown away by the update we got this week. I just really, really loved it. So, anyway, we're adding a TV over here. And we end up having bookcases on the other wall. And we add this plant in here as well because it shows up a couple times throughout the house. And also, you may have noticed, we have a ceiling fan in the room. That is so exciting for like no reason. The only thing I wish is that it wasn't purely decorative, that it could actually help cool your Sims off. And I just realized I didn't add a thermostat in this house. So if you have seasons and you download this house from the gallery, you might want to grab a thermostat and throw it into the house because it's Oasis Springs and it's hot here. So you might want to, you know, not burn to death. Like, you know, I don't know. Up to you. If that sounds like a good time to you, just, you know, ignore this warning and <laughs> don't place the thermostat. But uh, if you don't want your Sims to, uh, you know, overheat, you might want to pop one of those in. Just just saying. Um, <laughs> uh, what was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, I had a train of thought before I thought of the thermostat, but now I can't think of what I was saying. But this is a master bedroom. Like I said, it ends up being, like, blue. Because I love me some blue, apparently. And uh, I messed around with different beds and stuff for a bit. And uh, I think we ended up going with this one. Because I, I felt like I was trying too hard to make it, everything was kind of a particular style. And in my head, I was like, you got to use Jungle Adventure. It's like the most, like, not generic thing we have. And then I was like, you don't have to do that. for. Plus, like, the stuff from Jungle Adventure isn't necessarily, like, the same style I was going for. I did use some stuff for from it, but I didn't feel like it was the correct style. I did get to use that nice little bench, though, in the bedroom, which was really nice. And then this is the toddler's room. And it's so cute. I never used this wallpaper, so it was kind of exciting to use that. I know a lot of people use the wallpaper with the dinosaurs on it in kids' rooms a lot. But I never do for some reason. I think it's just because I'm like, oh, it looks so tacky and, like, weird. And then I'm, like, thinking back to when I was a kid. I didn't have wallpaper or anything, but I know a lot of people that did. And I'm like, hmm. I guess it makes sense. Also, before I forget, if you guys like this house and you would like to download it, you can go ahead and do so right now. If you search Griffey or the hashtag Miss Griffey on the Sims 4 gallery, it should be called La Casa Familia, and you can just download it from there. Make sure you have move objects on, though, before you place a lot, or some things might disappear, primarily the back door. I noticed when I was working on it without move objects, it disappeared. So you might need that to go ahead and place this lot. That goes for everything I build, though, because I use move objects a lot. Uh, the move objects cheat. It's bb.moveobjects on if you don't know that. And uh, it's a very helpful cheat to place things that are, like, a little closer than the game typically thinks you should based on the grid system. And most of the time, there's not any problems with things being in the way of each other. So, or, like, functionality-wise. So it is a very convenient cheat, and I always use it. Also, I added this basket up here from Seasons. I absolutely love it. I just want to use it all the time. It's really, really cute. It's funny because when Seasons first came out, I didn't start using it right away. But then, like, the first time I used it, I was like, oh my gosh, why haven't I been using this? And I just can't stop now. It's just such a great item. Anyway, this ends up being, like, the teenage boys' room. I kind of started going for a green color, and then I changed it to red. So you'll see me, like, kind of start placing, like, clothes all over the floor and stuff because I was imagining, like, a messy teenager and uh everything's green right now i also added a hole behind the bed because i was just thinking about like stories of my uncle when he was a kid how he punched a hole in the wall in the kitchen and instead of filling up the hole they just put something over it 
So I thought, you know, maybe it's behind his bed now. He moved the bed over there to try and cover the hole in the wall. I just thought that was kind of an interesting idea. And realistic for moody teenagers in general. So anyway, we're about to switch over to red and gray right now. And I kind of like it. We ended up adding some base game red curtains in here. Uh, I tried going for that curtain at first and I really didn't like it. So we used these, but on the front window, we end up deleting one of them and sizing up the other of the curtain because I thought it made more sense and looked a little bit better because it looks a little funky right now. We also added a guitar in here and just some more paintings and pictures and stuff. Uh, you know, gotta have Bob pancakes. We also added the like chainsaw painting over here with like a red couch. I imagine this kid is really into his movies as well as like exercise and stuff. And then this is the pink room. I really wanted to use this wallpaper because I haven't in a really long time and I can't remember if I kept it. I think I did. I think I kept it. And I added just like a little uh, stone accent over here and we got to use some fun curtains that I haven't used in a while as well. And there's that plant again because it's so beautiful and I can't stop and I won't stop. And it's just, I, I love it. I love plants. I need more plants in the game. I feel like I just, I put like six plants in every room. That's just how I, how I played this game. And I need more. So we're just adding some more stuff to the walls here. We add this nice little rose picture. I think we had a plant. Oh my god, we added two plants. <laughs> Look at all the plants in this room. It's beautiful. We also add a violin. I feel like this family's kind of musical. The kid has a, uh, the boys' room has a guitar. That room has a violin. I feel like they're just all going to be musicians and it's going to be great. Too bad I don't have room anywhere in this house for like a grand piano or anything, but we're in that upstairs hallway now. Just trying to pick out a rug. I feel like I always use this rug. I like it though, so I guess that's fine. Uh, but we're adding like a nice little coat rack by this door. Because out that door is like an upstairs porch. I mean, end up putting like a table and chairs and some lights. It'd just be a cool place to hang out, really. So that's what we're doing now. It's the same table we end up using downstairs. So here it is. And we end up adding a couple of plants on the wall and then we add some lights, which took me forever to find these. I was like, I know they came with the holiday pack, but like I couldn't find them for some reason. But I found them and I think they look cute. But we're coming to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. We're going into screenshots. Please like and subscribe if you have not already. And you can also turn on notifications to be notified of every single time I upload a video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm.